Hi, I'm Joy. I attended Tesla's We Robot event at the Warner Brothers Studios here in Los Angeles a few days ago and wanted to share my experience and thoughts with you. At the event, I did a robo taxi ride inside a cyber cab. I also interacted with Tesla's robot Optimus and it was super fun. First of all, when I arrived at the event, I found out the main stage area was already at capacity. So I was being held at the overflow section, which was a little disappointing, but I am so grateful that I was able to even attend this historical event because I thought I was not going to be there until two days before the event when I received a plus one invitation from a friend. Although I had to watch the presentation on live stream, like those who could not attend the event in person, I was in the first row behind a line of Tesla employees when the cyber caps pulled up and Elon walked out of the building, getting into a cyber cab and then being driven to the main stage. So at least, I saw Elon when he waved at us and I saw the cyber caps before those who were in the main stage area. After the presentation, we all had a chance to experience RoboTaxi with a fleet of Model Ys and the new cyber caps taking us around different areas of the studio. As you would expect, most of us wanted to ride in the cyber cabs instead of Model Ys. Because there were only 20 cyber cabs running around, the wait was really long. After waiting in line for two and a half hours, I finally got to sit in a cyber cab. Check it out. There you go. I got two. They're yes, here. right here. Watch your head getting out. <laughs> All right, Rim. Enjoy. Thank you. Watch your head. Enjoy. Oh my goodness. Sure this is so off. cool. If you buckle your seatbelt, the doors will automatically close. Okay. Once the door closes, the screen will change to select your destination. After that, you can start your ride. I'm Have a good one. Thank you. I Thank buckled. You, <gasps> oh, this is so cool. Which one is better? Yeah, we're because we're at Metropolis. Okay. Star ride. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, wow! This is so cool! I'll just press. Here we go. Robo taxi. This is reality now. Select movie. Optimus is waiting for us at home. This is so cool. Oh, I can't believe this. Just a two seater. Very simple design, but it gets the job done. There's no steering wheel, no, no pedals. pedals, none of that. Wow. This is amazing. No mirrors needed? Yes, no, well, yeah, that's right. We don't need it because nobody's driving, so you don't need mirrors. Don't need to look in the back. None, none no of it. Mirror in the front. Yeah, we need a little sun Just shield. And it's really so spacious. It's really, really spacious. Look, this is like business class on the airplane yep. where you can. Fully stretched out. Yeah. But, oh, we can't recline. Like okay. I'm like, can you take a can you take a um take a nap in here, right? Hey, this is cool. I think it's the windows. The windows, yeah. This windows goes up and down. The button here. Drink my drink. Watch my show. Take a nap. Watch. Do some work, maybe. All right. This is amazing. Wow, the future is here. Robo taxi. Wow. And then 
you can stop the ride or open the door from the screen. And this screen is big. I'm actually zoomed out, but let me, this is like one. It's just a big screen here in the car, and that's it. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Just the air condition. How, how do you adjust the air condition, you think? I don't know, that's a good question. Maybe on your phone eventually? Huh? Yeah, or maybe eventually on the screen, yeah. you know? Because right now we're playing, yeah, because right now we're playing the, um, the theater. Is the uh, games, games, map. Is that a map? Well, so yeah, right now it's a, set, it's a set route yeah, right but now. It's gonna be cool to be able to see where yeah. you're going. Yeah. But uh, yeah, how do you adjust the uh, AC? That's Play that's a rocket leak. Oh, that's a good question. Probably with a yeah. Play with maybe with joysticks or not? How do you play that? I don't know. Let's find out. How do you play? So not every game is, but that's the thing, I guess. Utopia. Mm -hmm. So I guess it might come with controllers in the future yeah and you just sit in the car and like two people can play how about this rim Incredible. what do you that's think it. that's it that's the future this is the it future really right as long as the car can do its this thing. is so cool i can't believe i'm it's sitting be a in a robo ride. taxi a cyber cab right now wow and there's no steering wheel turning us yeah nothing. yeah nothing there's They're nothing the, the car are is just going the car is just totally going. Oh yeah, I wonder what material this is. And the camera is no. watching yeah. Us probably, yeah. It is, I mean, Space yeah. Us. Yep. Here's the festivity. This is the future. Is in between. Look at the big space we have. This, no yeah, console. nothing, nothing. It's as simple as this, and That's then a robot it. comes in and just vacuums this up. That's and it. actually, so they actually have a, a weather, weatherproof it. floor mat. So yeah. You drag anything in there, you don't vacuum much. Yep. I think this is our destination. We're just waiting for. Wow, look, it's going around. It, oh my goodness, it's so cool. It did it by itself. This is so crazy good. Oh my goodness. It's like a human driver. But it's not a human driver. It's a robo taxi. All right. How do you like this, Joy? This is amazing. Okay, so now we unbuckle. Unbuckle the door, open it up, and we're at the destination. And yep, here we go. That's it. Now that I've experienced the cyber cab, here are my thoughts. Number one, many people complained that there are only two seats inside the vehicle. Keep in mind that the cyber cab is meant to be like Uber or Lyft type of short distance around town transportation option. It is not meant for a family trip out to the lake. If you think about it, most of the time when you take an Uber, you're riding it alone, right? In the future, you can take the cyber cab to a doctor's appointment, the grocery store, dinner with friends, the gym, a concert, or to the airport when you're going on a business trip and don't want to leave your family car parked at the airport garage. The cyber cab has a spacious trunk space, so even for two passengers, it would fulfill probably 98 or 99% of your in-town transportation needs. For the remaining 1-2% to 2 of the time when you would need to accommodate more than two passengers in a vehicle, Tesla owners can put their Model 3 or Y on the robo-taxi network and the person hailing the ride would have that option instead. This is why at the event there was also a fleet of Model Ys offering driverless rides demonstrating what the robo-taxi network would look like in the future. So please don't get stuck on just the cyber cab thinking that is RoboTaxi. Elon's vision for the RoboTaxi network includes 
both the cybercabs and Tesla's line of vehicles for owners to earn extra income when they are not using their cars. Secondly, the cybercabs and the robovan shown at the event were prototypes. So we cannot expect that the final production version will be exactly like what we saw. I'm pretty sure for the next two years, the vehicles will go through revisions and refinements before delivery. Furthermore, there wasn't even a demo of the RoboTaxi hailing app and the cybercabs were running in demo mode where you couldn't even change the AC temperature. So there are still lots of details that Tesla needs to work on before RoboTaxi can enter the market. The event was to showcase the general concept and fleshing out the vision of the robotaxi business to investors to boost confidence. Thirdly, the specs and price of the cybercab will change between now and when they are in mass production. We have seen this many times before when Elon announced specs and pricing of a new Tesla car only to change years later when the vehicle was ready to be delivered. Case in point, I originally reserved for the $35,000 Model 3 in 2016, but I ended up buying the $55,000 version in 2018. The $35,000 version didn't become available for another three years or so. Elon has a track record of making his vision a reality, but most of the time, his vision would take longer than what he initially hoped to accomplish. So keep this in mind and don't be disappointed if CyberCap doesn't come out in two years, as he mentioned at the event. Now, Elon said at the event that FSD Unsupervised can be expected to launch next year in 2025 in both California and Texas pending regulatory approval. My suspicion with the RoboTaxi demo at the event is that the cybercaps might be running on an early build of AI5 computer and that the fleet was running on an early release of FSD version 13. What do you think? Aside from the RoboTaxi demo, I got a chance to check out Optimus. Hello there. Hi. You're so cool. Thank you. You're very cool yourself. Thank you. Hi, Optimus. Hello. Hello. How old are you, Optimus? <laughs> well, I have been in production for a while, but as old as I actually am, I'm kind of unsure. <laughs> Optimus, can I get a high five? We can do a high five, but unfortunately no physical contact. Uh -huh. so just an air high five. Yes, right behind bad. you for the air. Here you the go. Bad. Oh. High five. You're the robot. High five as well. Woo! Ready to go. Of course. High five. Did you want to try that again? As impressive as Optimus was at the event, words came out that they were actually teleoperated. 
I am not surprised by it because if you notice in my video, after Optimus finished its dance routine, it did not respond to my saying thank you right away, like before as the robot was resetting itself. Being that the event was on the set of a movie studio, it is no surprise that the movie industry has the technology to remote operate a robot. What I was very impressed by was the dexterity of Optimus in its movement. It's becoming very smooth, fluid, and human-like. Even though it was teleoperated, the robot could turn toward the source of voice to interact with you in a crowd in real time without any noticeable lag, which was impressive. I'm looking forward to the day when Optimus can finally become a companion robot for the general household. So this is my experience and thoughts on the We Robot event. Despite the lack of many details on the CyberCap specs, how the inductive charging station will operate, and what the RoboTaxi business model will look like, this is a significant step toward the future of sustainable transportation. This future is no longer just an idea or a vision in Elon's mind but something that we can realistically look forward to in the next two to 10 years. Thank you very much for being a witness of this moment in history with me. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.